there's a hollow feeling that never quite goes away. A weight of empty spaces left behind. I try to fill it with memories, voices and laughter. But they all fade, slipping through like water. Sometimes I walk through places where we used to be, pretending for a second that if I just turn the corner, I'll see you there, smiling, waving. And for a moment, I believe it. But then the reality crashes down like a wave cold and relentless, washing over me until I'm left standing alone, clutching at shadows. The shadows that tell me time will mend the cracks. That one day I'll wake up and the ache will have vanished. But what they don't understand is that the emptiness isn't just in my heart. It's in every corner of my life. It's in the places you used to be. And in the words you used to say. And the more I try to let go, the more I feel the weight of what's missing. The weight of empty spaces. I wish I could go back just once. Not to change anything, but to hold on to it all just a little tighter. To memorize the details I was sure I'd never forget. But I know now that's the cruelest part of it all. You can't hold on to a memory forever. And maybe deep down, I knew that all along. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that monologue, because today I'm sharing something, you know, like a little raw and real, and which I just, which you just heard. It's called The Quiet of empty spaces and it explores that feeling when you're trying to let go of love. It's one of those experiences we all face at some point. The need to move on but feeling like pieces of that person or that chapter in your life, you know, they linger in every empty space they left behind. <sighs> Don't mind admitting I shed a tear or two. Anyway, let me tell you a bit about why this theme resonates so much with me and hopefully it will with you too. There was a time when I had to let go of someone I thought would always be in my life and it was like It was like every place we had been together had a shadow of them. You know, even simple things like going to our favorite cafe or hearing a song we used to love. And I felt like they were haunting me. It's like, you know, it's, it's time to let go, but there's a quiet ache that fills those empty spaces, right? Um, and let's be honest, you know, sometimes it feels like it would be easier if we could just erase those memories, <laughs> you know, like deleting a photo off our phones. How many of you have done that? <laughs> but that's not how it works. These experiences, this grief, they become a part of us. So here's my question to you. When you've gone through 
that kind of loss, what have you found helps fill those quiet spaces? Or maybe you haven't filled them and they're just there as reminders. That's why I'm diving into these monologues because they're a way of bringing out those quieter, sometimes painful parts of life to share and hopefully, hopefully they're connecting with you. And if you're finding these kinds of videos meaningful, please let me know. Like, are they helping you reflect or process, perhaps? Because that's what I hope. I hope that this can be a safe, quiet space for all of us to explore these emotions together. So if these, if these kinds of talks are resonating with you, please hit that like button, drop a comment and or subscribe if you haven't already to keep joining me for more of these reflective pieces. I'd love for us, you know, to keep this going, to build a little corner where we can connect beyond the noise of everyday life. So I want to thank you for sharing this moment with me. And if you've ever felt that quiet of empty spaces, no, you're not alone. We're in this together, finding meaning, even when it's hard to let go. And let's all just breathe and I'll catch you in the next video.